Yes, I'm pinning up my little ox too. Hey y'all, so I know I'm looking a little, little ratchet, a little ghetto, okay? Um, I am doing my Benzonite hair clay mask, healing clay, whatever. I do want to straighten my hair, and by straighten I mean blow it out on cool, and trim my ends tonight, so I'm going to make that video later, but I wanted to start with my Benzonite hair clay mask, because I text my best friend, like, girl, which one should I do first? She said the clay mask, so... That's what I'm going to do. So I rinsed my hair. I didn't wash it. I just rinsed it. And now she's up in an old t-shirt. Also, I need, I have one an old t-shirt, which probably, this is like bleach. Um, I know I'm not going to cry if this t-shirt gets messed up. So, period. And then I have my Benzonite Indian Healing Clay, which I'll link down below. And I have some apple cider vinegar, which I'll link down below. And... I just have a, a cup that my niece used to play with, like tea cup, but she grew out of it. So I use it for my hair care stuff. So you guys have seen me mix up the the um, Indian healing clay for my face. So I'm just going to mix up a whole bunch and use it for my hair. So when I said it was gonna be like three hours, I kind of lied because I don't know if my hair was soaking like the last time or what happened because it's dry. Really, really. Look. Look. She's dry. So now that it's all washed out, I want you guys to kind of see I see an improvement in my curl pattern. It, it, this is just water on it. I mean, it doesn't look like, I don't know. I feel like if you have, you see that, kind of, am I doing too much? Okay, whatever. But I feel like I see an improvement on my curl pattern already. Hey y'all, so the hair is up. She pinned down my little oxtail period. I'm gonna let it stay in there for about an hour or two and then I'll come back, rinse out, and show you guys the final result. I'm not gonna put any curl stuff because I did say I was blowing out my hair. So I can trim it. Um, so we'll see. So I'm gonna go in and try to blow it with cold air and see what happens. I'm gonna pick it out first and then we'll go from there. Um, I'm blowing it with cold air. I don't have any heat protection. So, you do what's best for your hair, honestly. Yeah. I've done it before with hot air and no heat protection, but you do what's best for you, baby.
So this is what it's given. Shrinkage is real. Okay, so I do have scissors and an alligator clip. Pre warning, I keep telling y'all I'm not a hairstylist. Okay. I've been I've done this maybe two times before, three times. I'm just going for the gusto. It ain't gotta be even because I wear my hair and wash and goes. If y'all are really looking for somebody to teach y'all how to cut hair, maybe go find another video out there since watching this one, but I'm not really here to teach y'all because I don't know. Care about it there and there because I can feel it. So <laughs> this is like a good spot. And I cut that much off. Um, yeah. Let me do it like the professional. Let me make sure it looks like a good enough amount. Let me know down below what you do this quarantine haircut because when the next time y'all gonna get your insurance, we don't know when we're gonna be out of this. Give it a shot <laughs> if you're confident. I don't care because it's just hair for me. Got my little hairball. And yeah, I'm about to go down and finish my pizza because I'm making pizza. 